Croatia is still seeking answers in the case of Tomislav Salopek, the Croatian man ISIS-affiliated militants in Egypt claim to have executed. Although there is still no official confirmation that the image circulated online as proof of the killing is indeed Salopek, new details have emerged. The French company the topographer was working for says the kidnappers contacted them via email on July 30th, eight days after Salopek disappeared, demanding millions in ransom. The company says it never received a reply from the captors despite three attempts to contact them. Croatian companies operating in Egypt have raised the level of security measures protecting their workers and some have pulled some of their staff. There are about 80 Croatian nationals currently in Egypt, 36 of them working in the country. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs is recommending that Croatians avoid traveling to Egypt. Most travel agencies in Croatia are no longer offering the destination to their clients. Tomislav Karamarko has filed a lawsuit against Josip Manolic, who recently accused the HDZ leader that he had worked closely with the UDBA, the communist-era secret police, in the late 1980s. The 95-year-old Manolic, once the head of UDBA, became a dissident during the collapse of Yugoslavia and went on to become a founding member of the HDZ. The region's most prestigious film festival, the Sarajevo Film Festival, begins tonight. The event's 21st edition will feature 259 films from 97 countries, including Croatia. Croatian director Dalibor Matanić's film Zvizdan will open the competition program on Saturday. The festival's special honoree this year is Oscar-winning actor Benicio del Toro. Traffic is picking up on major roads around the country today as we head into one of the busiest weekends of the summer for travelers. The Croatian Auto Club is warning drivers to expect congestion and delays on Saturday due to the high volume of vehicles expected and because of tomorrow's Feast of the Assumption holiday. In sports, Croatia's Ivo Karlovic failed to get past Frenchman Jeremy Chardy at the ATP Masters 1000 Series Rogers Cup in Montreal, losing in the third round for a final of 4 6 7 6 6 4. In basketball, Croatia and Germany play a friendly tonight at the Zagreb Arena ahead of the upcoming Eurobasket competition. There will be live coverage of the match on HTV4 at 9 p.m. Today's forecast calls for sunny skies with traces of moderate clouds in places. There is a chance of rain in interior Dalmatia and a slight chance of showers in Lika. On the coast, there will be a light to moderate southeasterly and southwesterly wind and a westerly in places. The day's highs will range from 33 to 38 degrees Celsius. Saturday will be cloudier than today in the interior. There is a chance of scattered afternoon showers, more clouds and rain on Sunday. Temperatures will be considerably cooler. The coast can also expect a break from the heat, especially in the north. Unstable weather is expected there on Saturday with a chance of thunderstorms in the north. There will be rain and thundershowers elsewhere from Sunday on.